I'd be such a bad like influencer. It's like, hi guys, here's a manga that's 20 years old. You should check it out. <laughs> I'm getting really obsessed with a new manga. New. <laughs> it's Fruits Basket. <laughs> I think it was first published in 1998 and finished its run in 2006. <laughs> it's new to me, okay? <laughs> I'd seen that the library had it and it's one of those things that like I'd obviously heard of and everyone really loves, but I always kind of assumed that if you hadn't read it when you were a teenager, that going to it fresh as an adult wouldn't be as good. I don't know why I thought that. I was wrong. I also didn't know what it was actually about, I was just like, oh yeah, shoujo manga, like, I like shoujo, but maybe it would be too dated, or I don't know, I don't know, I was stupid. But anyway, I found out the storyline with the whole, like, zodiac curse thing, and I was like, oh my god, I need to read this, <laughs> and I'm in love with it. I've not even finished the second volume, and I'm in love with it so much, I can't believe the Yuki the rat character has sensitive breathing issues. And my rats have sensitive breathing issues. This is not news to anyone that is into stuff like this. But it's it's really, really good and addictive and I'm totally obsessed with it and I still have so much to go and I'm so happy that it's in the library. you go in why you like mr pip trouble i'd say where are you going where are you going Yum, 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 yum.